Hey folks! Uh, today I want to make a quick video on how to join webinars. So when you jo join a webinar, the first thing you do is you go to our chat room at tmswiki.org slash chat, and then you have to join the audio call, and there's two ways to do that. The first way to join the audio call uh, is by calling in with your phone. And while that's easy, uh, there's also some advantages to connecting via your computer. When you connect via your computer, the call is free. All you pay is your normal internet charges. Uh, plus, it can be more comfortable since you don't have to hold up the phone. You know, maybe your headset holds, does everything for you. I like that. Uh, and secondly, if we have any webcams going, you get to see what other people are saying, which, you know, I think helps. So anyway, let's do this. Uh, so I have uninstalled Fuse Meeting on this computer. So it's going to take a couple more steps than it usually does for me. But I wanted to show you what it would be like for you. And the first step for you is to click on this link. So if you look on your screen, uh, stop looking at me, you're looking at me, look at your screen instead uh, and click on where it says this link. To sign up for any webinar, there's going to have to be a link like that uh, and, and we'll make it clear. So you click on the link and it says, hey, let's go to Fuse Meeting. You want to join as an attendee and I will put down Forest. Um, and then you're going to join as an attendee. And it says, hey, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can either join as a browser or you can download. I encourage you to join to, to do the download. Like I said, after you've done it once, it's really fast. Plus, I think that that's required for the webcams, and I think it's also required to use your headset at all. So, yeah, I'd suggest the download. Let me know if you have different experiences, but let's click on that. When you do this, it's going to say, hey, i got to do the download, so you're going to have to save it somewhere. Um, we'll save it in, we're in downloads right now, we'll hit save, and it's going to download for a moment, and it's almost there, okay, so I double click on it, I'm going to have to open it up and says, hey, do you really want to run this thing, because you downloaded it from the internet, and don't worry, it's safe, I do it all the time, obviously I'm doing it right now on my own computer. Uh, and a bunch of other people have done it as well, and it takes a little while to install. It's got to go through the process. While we're going through the process, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the hardware that you need. So in order to connect with your computer, it is isn't to have the right hardware. The best thing that you want is a headset like the one that I'm using. It's nice because it has both a microphone that you talk through and the headphones. The microphone you can do however you want. If you've got a big external microphone like this, that's great. It doesn't really matter if you're using a headset microphone. But what is super important is that you have earphones like this. So they don't have to look like that. They could look like this. This is a kind of a cheaper headset that you can buy at Radio Shack. You can buy this at Radio Shack as well. It um, doesn't matter how it connects to the computer. It just has to have that the sound goes directly into your ears. Um, and that is key. Because if you have something like this, speakers like speakers on your laptop or external speakers like these, this will actually unfortunately mess up the webinar for everybody else, including the people who listen to it afterwards. Like it really messes things up. It's too bad. And you really don't want to do that. Um, because here's what happens. When someone else talks, their voice comes out of the speaker and then it comes into your microphone. And then it goes back through the internet and it goes out of their speaker. So they say something and then like a second later they hear it a second time in their earphones and it makes it really hard to talk and everybody else hears this echo and it's really really frustrating. So my advice is if you don't have a headset like this or like this or you know even if you have your iPhone headphones, you can put your little iPhone headphones in and then use a different speaker like this. Like this is this is okay because when someone talks, the sound will go <laughs> I love the way I'm reaching around here. Will go out of the iPhone little earbuds and it'll go directly into your ear and it will not go into the microphone. It's going into the microphone that messes everything up. That's where the feedback comes in. So make sure you have the right hardware, please. Please, 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 please. Um, if you have any questions, always ask. That's the deal. Um, and uh, we'll set it up. We'll work it out. And when in doubt, you know, you can call in. It'd be a shame if you can't use the uh, see the webcams um, because you know there's actually a 
very handsome devil on the webcam that you should take a look at. Uh, let's see. Uh, we are going to join a meeting. Hey, I didn't know we had to do this. So for me, I've already installed it, so it's really simple for me. I don't have to go through all this junk. So I'm just going to go back and I'm going to click on the link again, because that's how I would do it. And now it says, oh, you've already installed this. I'm just going to launch Fuse Meeting. And it says, hey, do you want to join the meeting? It already has the meeting number in there. That's pretty good. Um, so you can click the join meeting like that. And in you go. And all of a sudden, we are in Fuse Meeting. And on my laptop, um, I'm already doing running this. Um, but I guess I'm going to have to, the, the, the host of the meeting, which is me on my other computer, is going to have to let uh, me, the visitor, in. So I'm going to go do that in a second. Ready? So I let me in, <laughs> and now it comes up and it says, hey, uh, oh, and then Windows comes up and says, hey, we blocked the audio of this, or, you know, it's trying to access the internet and download some stuff. Uh, shall we unblock it? And yeah, you just unblock it. You want to block anything. Um, hold on a second. Um, and... Uh, let's see, and you say, yes, we do want to continue. We're giving permission. Um, and I'm going to pause for a second briefly. So anyway, uh, now we are in, and you can see uh, that on my laptop, you can actually even see uh, the videos. This is some of the webcams that happen. Um, and now we are into Fuse Meeting, which is great. But at this point, we can't hear the audio. So if, if you had my headphones on and were participating here, you wouldn't be able to hear the audio. So the next thing that we have to do is connect to the call. So, so far, we're in so f as, a, as a web attendee, and that just means that we can see the webcams. That's all that we've got so far. And we can actually also uh, see if there's a document up. That's great. But we have to get into the call. So we go to this call info thing, and that pops up the the, the call info box. And when I when I started, this box was already open, and then but sometimes you may by mistake close this box. It's nice to know you can always get it by just by clicking on call info like that. And then there's actually four ways to connect to uh, to the audio call. You can dial in. Um, you can have them call you, but don't do that. <laughs> I think we've deactivated it. I hope we have. No one's used it yet, so I haven't been billed for it. That's good. Uh, you can also do voice over IP. IP just stands for Internet Protocol, um, so you're just doing your voice over the Internet. Um, or you can connect via Skype, but don't worry about that. If you're going to connect via your computer, you should use voice over IP. You should use, uh, you should use yeah, a headset and all. So you just click on connect, um, and it will look at the various microphones that you have, and this is going to be confusing. Um, it You can choose which microphone. I'm going to use the microphone here that I have on my HD, and then I'm going to do a headset earphone. You can test the speakers, and you hear a little bit of music. Um, and then finally you hit connect and the speaker test is going to fail because I'm recording this at the same time so don't worry about that that's never happened for me when I'm not recording a video so anyway at that point uh, you are in and you're connected and you can uh, join the telecons so that is how you connect uh, via your computer to a webinar uh, again, the steps are fairly simple. You just click on the link, you download the software. It's just like downloading any other piece of Windows software. Um, and then you just join the meeting. And then you have to say, hey, I'm in the meeting. I want to join the audio call. Hope this made sense. Uh, if not, feel free to ask questions. Remember, if you have questions, you can ask in tmswiki.org slash chat, because we always have our chat room, our regular chat room, going at the same time as our webinars. Hope this helps. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the thread below.